France's President Emmanuel Macron has said Russia may plan to disconnect the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant from the Ukrainian grid, backing up warnings from Ukraine's own nuclear power firm. Macron spoke directly to the Russian President Vladimir Putin on Friday and said the call was urgent because of the nuclear threat to Europe. He added Putin agreed to consider allowing a mission from the International Atomic Energy Agency to travel to the plant. In his nightly address today, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky expressed his support for the deployment of an International Atomic Energy Agency mission to the site of the Russian-controlled Zaporizhia plant. He added his gratitude to everyone working towards this initiative, but warned if Russian extortion of nuclear energy continues, Europe is facing a tragedy like no other. On a visit to the port of Odessa, UN Secretary General Antonio Gutierrez renewed his call to demilitarize the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant amid concerns that fighting around the facility could result in a nuclear catastrophe. The UN Secretariat has in the Ukraine the capacity, logistic and uh, um, uh, security capacity to support the IAEA if that is required to move from Kyiv to Zaporizhia. A senior U.S. defense official told reporters that it is vamping up more military aid as part of a new 770 million euro package to further help Ukrainian forces regain territory and mount a counteroffensive against Russian invaders.